now please see here sir today we are going to discuss a very very important topic called as mixtures extremely important for so many competitive examinations we will see how beautifully we can solve our problems we will understand the basics of mixtures also by problem solving so that we will come to know what need to be taken care of to solve a mixture based questions now everyone listen to this very carefully sir everyone listen to this very carefully now i will start with my first question of today's class first let me read the question your question is how many liters of water need to be added to 30 liters of 3 is to 1 milk and water solution so that the mixture has milk and water in the ratio 2 is to 3 let us understand the question once again how many liters of water need to be added that means there is a vessel i need to add some liters of water into the vessel i need to add some liters of water into the vessel how much is what they are asking you in the question how many liters of water need to be added to 30 liters of that means initial volume is given as 30 liters initial volume is given as 30 liters 30 liters of 3 is to 1 milk and water solution initial ratio of initial ratio of milk and water it is given as 3 is to 1 so that the mixture has milk and water in the ratio 2 is to 3 final ratio of milk and water is nothing but 2 is to 3 again i am explaining you the question in a different way your question is i have initially 30 liters of mixture mixture is nothing but a combination of both milk and water both milk and water together is called as mixture or together is called as solution so initially 30 liters of mixture is present inside the vessel now initial ratio of milk and water is given as 3 is to 1 but i don't want the ratio of milk and water to be equal to 3 is to 1 i want it to be 2 is to 3 finally to convert 3 is to 1 ratio milk and water for 2 is to 3 ratio milk and water i need to add some water how much water needs to be added so that initial ratio of 3 is to 1 will finally become 2 is to 3 ratio for a initial volume of 30 liters now listen to this very very carefully sir the key point used in this kind of problems is what is the key point that i will be using the key point that i'll be using in this kind of problems is always work with always work with the parameter always work with the parameter which is unaffected always work with the parameter which is unaffected everyone first listen to this carefully always work with the parameter which is unaffected now what is the meaning of this statement that means there is one parameter which is affected there is another parameter which is unaffected you should work with the parameter which is unaffected that means i can i say that c1 v1 will be equal to c2 v2 where c1 and c2 are initial and final concentrations initial and final concentrations v1 and v2 are initial and final volumes right v1 and v2 are initial and final volumes always work with the parameter which is unaffected now i am adding water inside the vessel i am adding water into the vessel if i add water water quantity will get affected because i am adding water into the vessel if i add water water will get affected what is not affected milk is not affected the meaning of milk is not affected means how much ever milk was present earlier before i added water finally also the same quantity of milk will be present because i am not adding any extra milk into the vessel i am adding water into the vessel that means the parameter which is action take the initial ratio initial ratio is 3 is to 1 the meaning of 3 is to 1 is out of total 3 plus 1 out of total 4 units 3 units belongs to milk sir why are you taking milk parameter because milk is the parameter which is unaffected v1 v1 sir, 2 liters belongs to milk again why am i taking milk because milk is the parameter which is unaffected 
V2 is nothing but the full. Finally, it becomes 30 plus W. Finally, it becomes 30 plus W. If I cross multiply and simplify, there is only one unknown variable present in the question. If I cross multiply and simplify, I will get the answer for W as 26.25 liters. And I am sure that you know how to cross multiply and simplify because this is something which is taught in our school days. I believe that the first problem is very, very clear. Do not worry about it. This problem whatever the methodology which we have used in our first problem we have used a methodology of algebra because we are using variable w and we are creating an equation and we are cross multiplying simplifying shifting here and there and then getting the value of that unknown variable w this is a variable equation methodology and we are not interested with this method we will very soon shift to a different methodology which does not require any equation to be formed i hope the first problem is clear now listen to the second problem sir please see the second problem there is a reason behind taking all these questions you will understand when i keep taking the problems very clearly you will understand the flow of the class now your second question is 68 liters of milk was added that means there is a vessel there is a vessel. I am adding 68 liters of milk into the vessel. In the previous question, this parameter was asked as how many liters of water was added. In this question, that parameter value is given in the question. 68 liters of milk was added to 3 is to 7 milk to water solution. That means in final ratio of milk and water, it is nothing but 7 is to 5. What is the volume of the original solution? That means they are asking you the initial volume. I will call the initial volume as capital V. That capital V value is what we need to find. Now, listen to this carefully, sir. Same logic I will implement once again. Always work with the parameter which is unaffected. What is not affected in this question? I am adding milk into the vessel. If I add milk, water quantity will not get affected. Milk will get affected. Water will not get affected. So, I will work with water in this question. C1, V1 is equal to this question. V2 is nothing but final volume. Initially, there was V liters inside the vessel. It is there on left hand side and right hand side. Shift that V value to one of the sides. Any one of the sides. Cross multiply here and there. Shift it. Finally, you will get the value of V for this particular question as 100 liters. You will get the value of V for this particular question as 100 liters. That shift second question of this class where I am using this variable methodology. This is my method 1. Method 1 is good to solve. Definitely make sure that you are using variables, you are creating an equation and you are trying to get the answer from that equation. Now, we are not interested with this method 1. Now, see here, method 2. Method 2. Everyone listen to this carefully, sir. Method 2. Same question I am writing again. I am adding 68 liters of milk. 68 liters of milk is added inside the vessel. Initial volume, I don't know. That is what we are finding. Initial ratio of milk and water, it is given in the question as 3 is to 7. 3 is to 7 is the initial ratio of milk and water. Final ratio of milk and water, it is nothing but 7 is to 5. Right? Final ratio of milk and water is 7 is to 5. Now, see here. Can I say that? Can I say that? I am adding milk parameter inside the vessel. If, if I add milk inside the vessel, milk will get changed. Milk will get changed. Water will not be affected. That means, what is the meaning of water will not be affected? Water will not be affected means, how much our water is present initially? How much our water is present initially? Same amount of water should be present finally also. That means, how much ever water is present initially, same amount of water should be present finally also. But the ratio says, initially 7 liters of water is present. Finally, 5 liters of water is present. They both should be actually same. But they both are not same in this case. I believe that you are able to understand the logic. Actually, they both should be same. Because water is not affected, actually 7 and 5 should be same, but they are not same. Make it as same. 
how will you make 7 and 5 at the same number it is nothing but the lcm lcm multiply by 7 that means 3 into 5 is 15 7 into 5 is 35 7 into 7 is 49 5 into 7 is 35. Now, if you observe carefully, water in both the parameters, initial and final concentrations, water is the same value 35. Water is not affected. Now, if you observe carefully, initially, finally, 49 liters of milk is present. That means how much extra milk I added to make it 49. 15 is becoming 49. How much extra milk I added? That means according to the ratio, I am adding 34 liters of milk. According to ratio, I am adding 34 liters of milk. According to the question it is given as, I am adding 68 liters of milk. 34 liters is becoming 68 liters. Multiply by 2. 34 into 2 is 68. Your question is 50 liters. According to the question, they are asking you how much. This 50 also multiply by 2. 50 into 2 is nothing but 100. Answer for this question is 100 liters by using method 2, which is the same answer what you got in method 1 also by using variable methodology. I hope the idea is very, very clear, sir.